Hi, I'm Myra Ferguson for Ajar Productions, and in this video, I'd like to show you how to make a before and after slider using the N5 Image Sequence Interactive Widget. Here's an example where I can swipe over what appears to be a divider to reveal the after version and compare it to the before version. Tell us in the comments how you might use a before and after slider in your projects. Now, let me show you how to create a before and after slider. It's not magic, but it is a trick. It isn't two images with a divider. It's actually an animation that I exported from Premiere Pro as an image sequence. Let's jump over to Premiere. Here you can see I've got three layers. The top layer is the divider. It's just a graphic that's animated across the screen. Then there is the before image that has a wipe transition. And the bottom layer is just the static after image. When I put it all together, it appears to be a slider that reveals the before image below. You don't need to know how to use Premiere to create the image sequence. You could use another application, including Photoshop, using its timeline. It would take longer, but you could make the individual images in Photoshop. Whatever you use to make the frames in the sequence, Make sure that you have enough frames for the transition between the images to be smooth. You also don't want too many frames or it could affect the loading time. For this sequence, I exported 75 frames. Once we have our frames, now we can switch over to InDesign. Here I have a layout started with a frame where the before and after slider should go. I'm gonna use the N5 Image Sequence Interactive Widget. Image Sequence lets you place a sequence of images from a folder that can be auto-played, tap to play or pause, or swiped. With the frame selected, I'll go to N5, Interactive Widgets, Image Sequence. And then when the Image Sequence dialog opens, I'll click on the button with the three dots, navigate to where my frames are, and click Open. Now I have some options that I can select. Let's have the first frame show initially. We don't want to have it autoplay. Instead, we want to be able to swipe it. If it were auto-playing, I could enable tap to play pause, but we don't want those either, so I'm just going to leave these options deselected. Also, just a note that when you use image sequence, you can either use tap to play pause or swipe to change image. It won't work if you select them both. Then we do want swipe to change image, and we want it to stop at the first and last image so that it acts more like a slider. And the last option is to play in reverse. You may want to select this option depending on how you have your animated frames set up and how you want the swiping action to work with the divider. The way I have these frames set up, if I don't select play in reverse, the sliding action is opposite the direction of the divider. Let me show you what that looks like. I have this one already exported so you can see. If I try to drag what looks like the slider, it's not moving. But if I go the opposite direction where I swipe from right to left, you can see that it's having that opposite motion, so it's just opposite of the divider. That may be what you want, but for us, we do want it to go in reverse. So let's go back over into InDesign, and I'm gonna select Play in Reverse. Now let's export. I'll go to N5, Export HTML5 with N5, save the document, and click OK. Now let's take a look. Here I can swipe where it looks like I'm actually dragging on the divider. And it looks like I've got a before and after slider. I hope using the image sequence interactive widget to make a before and after slider inspires ideas for how you can use it in your projects. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out N5 at n5.us. And if you like the video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching.